Uh, next item, uh, G, a first read for a proposed uh, modification of board policy BBC, board committees, and an audit committee. Uh, this will lie on the table for a month. This proposes a change to the audit committee to make it, it is already a standing committee to change its structure. It would also change the reporting of the internal auditor to the Board of Education, which is consistent with practices in other districts. Uh, and it outlines sort of what its charge would be, which would be only advisory and analytical and not a decision making. So all that inherent authority would remain with the Board of Education. There's Dr. Morley. Um, yeah, and I've conveyed this to you all in the email. I have some real, real problems with this whole situation. First of all, I have a problem with boards becoming their committees, their own committees. I have an even bigger problem with the fact that when you have three board members on any committee, the rest of the, the people are scared anyhow. They're not going to want to stand up and speak up. So you have control. You have mandating, dictating. There's no way in the world you're going to be able to get equal opportunities for people who are on, on this committee. How many people are we looking? If it says up to three board members, which I think is too many for a committee. One of the reasons why SACS came in before, because when the previous board tried to use their committees to run the district. So I think there's some danger in all of this. I have a problem with trying to change what the bylaw says as to who would actually chair a committee. I have some real problems, and I think it's, it's a, a lot of control, it's a lot of politics, it's a lot of positioning, it's a lot of all the things that we don't want to see, and I think that we're going down a hole once again, because I'm not on here for control, a uh, 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 position, power, any of that, because there is no power on this board. The bottom line comes down to what's the reason, the rationale, why are we having to do it? We will be crossing over, as was before, into the day-to-day -day operations of the district. And when we have board members beginning to live at the district's office, that's a problem. Coming in every day, interacting with the administration and with the, uh, uh, the, the, the superintendent's cabinet, that's a problem. So my thing is, why? And what do we want to change it to? So after a while, it begins to get, and Ms. Ty, Ms. Uh, Gavers was always afraid of the friends and family. Here's a great opportunity for friends and family, quid pro quo, and nepotism. And so my bottom line is I have a real problem with it. I have a problem changing. I have a problem implementing it. If we were to do what we're supposed to do, board governance, overseeing who and what we're supposed to see, and not trying to control the district, I, again, if it smells like a rat, it probably is. But the bad part about it, it smells worse when it did. I, I am just not for this. I, I just, when I read it, I didn't feel good about it, and I will not support it. I just really think that we have to be careful. This board is going on, and we're running as if we're dictators, and there's no way in the world that the people, we already know the morale is low in this system. People are afraid to speak up. You get them in a room with a board, they're going to be acquiesced because they're going to feel fear of retaliation, fear for other things, and you have three members on a committee with, with, with employees. I have a problem with it. So I just want you to know, uh, Mr. Orson and whomever came up with this in order to get things done, the bottom line is you can do it, but I don't, I don't see the change in uh, having all these committees because committees, and then I have a problem with the chair being able to appoint who he wants, and then he appoints the chair of the board. So again, it's, it's favorite. Who, who, who am I going to do? So I have a real problem with it. And if we're talking about being, again, I don't like the word transparent, honest with the people, here's another opportunity for control. And I refuse to be a part. You know, I was in church a couple of weeks ago, and the Lord always drops big boulders in my lap. And he said to me, why would you sit with a lie when you know the truth and you stand and walk with the truth? I'm not willing to do it. Mr. DaCosta? I would like to request that we remove this from the consent agenda. I also do not agree with the verbiage um, of this um, new amended, new adopted policy. Um, so would that be possible if we can remove it? It's, it's not an action item. For it's you. not an action it item? It won't be an action item for a month. I, you know, I can understand you want it to be removed. I actually agree, but I would like for it to be tabled until the board can meet as a whole to discuss the policy at all. Correct. Because one, I want to know who is going to monitor the, uh, the changes that the board wants to implement on this policy. Uh, who is going to take minutes on that? Who is going to log it in? Is it going to be Dr. Williamson? Is it going to be the chair? Is it going to be the vice chair? How do we know which uh, changes are actually going to be put into the policy? So, so the, 
if I let me answer your questions first, and I guess your question, and then we'll get to a motion. I guess um, the the changes, the recommended changes, would conform it to uh, policy on committees, which exists as it does. It would make it the same size and the same. It would actually slightly modify the appointment process so that not all appointments were by the chair, but there was one by the vice chair. Uh, Audit committee and audit responsibility, internal audit is a statutory responsibility as far, part of our financial responsibility. We have not had an audit committee meeting in seven years. Seven years. This structure is consistent with every other school district in the metro area except for Cobb County. Um, it is, just, just, man, just, if I, if just I can finish. Just interject for, yeah. for a second. I understand the background that you're giving, but could right. you ask the questions, answer the questions that are on the table right now? Right. As far as if there are recommendations to change the policy, who are taking those recommendations and how are those recommendations going to be implemented in the policy if the board doesn't have time to meet as a committee of the whole? The, who is the, going to track all that? Those are my questions. So, okay. so, so board committees are responsible for acting like the board at a smaller scale. They, they would have to appoint somebody to take note, like in any committee. Our ad hoc committees are the same way, I, to take minutes. I, they have to post their meetings. I think we're missing the question. Right. I, I'm not concerned about the ad hoc committee right. or the committee taking notes. I'm concerned about the policy. If Mr. Costa has a change that he wants to get put in the policy, how does that go forward? So, oh, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry, I did miss. So uh, we'll sh share those with all the board, and the, ultimately we would vote on those as part of our discussion at the next board meeting. Well, don't Mr. Chair, is it, it open for comments on the um, on Yes, and on it's board? also open to the public. Right, so it's not just us that can comment, right. it's, the, it's the public. But it also said committees are supposed to be as needed and not for long term. It, except for the and audit what, But what I, so hold on a minute, what I seem to hear you saying is that this is a long term. You've been waiting for this opportunity so you can put these committees together. Is it necessary? Is it, what, is it necessary for the operations of this district and for the fiduciary responsibility of the members of this board for you to have these committees? Because this is not the only committee you want. The, 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 the bottom, uh, hold on a minute. The bottom line comes down to necessity if there's a need. But I hear, it's what I'm seeming to hear, that because there hasn't been one, you want one, here's your opportunity. Now I'm chair, I can make them be, and I'm going to have them be, and I'll put whomever I want over them. I have a problem with that. Well, well that, that's not correct. We have a policy that establishes an audit committee. The structure has clearly not worked. And I, as a former vice chair, I take part of that on me because that's been under the, the guise of the vice chair and the vice chairs who have preceded me. The structure doesn't work because, as we see, it's – in other districts, there's a reason for having a smaller working group. This is not an ad hoc committee. We already have established that this is our only standing committee because it is a statutory responsibility of us in terms of financial management. We have seen consistently that this has been a problem for the district, including our audits. The reason we're in the situation we're in now, in part, can't rely just on blaming the administration. It's also on us. You did absolutely nothing. I just said to you, I didn't serve as seven years as the vice chair, and I take part of that on me. And what I saw was an inherent flaw in the design of this audit committee. So it's me and all of us to say, and I will take my share of that blame. And I think we as a board have to accept that, and that that was a contributing factor to circumstances we have found ourselves in. We're also cleaning it up. That's great. But to ensure, I think, the gains and the changes we're making, we need, and I think we're obligated, to have an effective audit, internal audit, and audit committee process, which I don't think by any measure, having never engaged in seven-plus years, we can presume that that was an effective process in there. So who's on this board qualified to be able to do an audit? Who on this no, board has they're, a financial they're, they're not around? auditors, right, right, right. There's right but a you, wanna, you wanna act as if no, you're, no, that's what no, I'm hearing you no. saying. The and audit, I'm just, the, the audit, that's not how they work. And, I know that's not how it works, but you're trying to make it work the way, it, this whole thing cannot be based on what I want and when I want and how I want and I want to make the changes uh, you, I want. You're, you're and that's where we're going down. This is where the whole process is be going. Uh, can I make a request to table uh, this? Well, there's a motion to table that takes oh, precedence. Okay. I second. Uh, is there a second? Um, I second. Th those in favor of tabling the item indicate by raising their hand. What? Okay, so it's not a discussable motion. So there's three in favor. Those opposed? Can we, when we have this kind of, right. for lack of a better word, oh discussion, right. I use that word instead of 
back and forth with the you might. question. Microphone, we can call the question, can't we? Right, we're, we're, we're voting on their motion to the table. Because okay. there's no other motion. The law is on the table otherwise. Okay. So it, because it this be, is just a, this right. is a read, right? Right. A Correct. first read. Correct. And is, is not, have we not employed first reads as an opportunity yeah. to tweak the language of it? Absolutely. As Mr. DaCosta was saying, he did, he was not in favor of the language. He wanted right. to make, uh, uh, make some suggestions that we need to change some language. Can we not do that? Oh, absolutely. First read? That's Can we not? Ms. Turner, we, we could possibly do that. But my question still remains, where and when? I do not want this to take place via email. No, and we can do it at our next meeting. If it lies on the table. No, because if we bring it back to the next meeting, we need to have, if the policy is going to go through, the policy needs to be shaped up to the point that well, the board can, can go on consensus so, on it. So You're we, not giving us the opportunity to meet together that, and talk about this policy. Uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, yes, sir. Can I just walk the board through yeah. a couple procedural matters? Yes. Um, I, I feel that this is probably a motion to postpone this indefinitely. And so just, just going through the hoops, it, it would be debatable. But um, given the back and forth, I would just call, I would just urge the, the board to recognize people, let them talk, right. and then th do it as we would a normal agenda item. Okay, that's – so our – I'm buzzed in. So to your, your question, I think we have – we've used this – with every policy change we've made, this procedure of having a first read, having input, having a second meeting. Sometimes we postpone it to a third meeting if we're not happy with how it has been developed. I'm, I'm a little mystified as to why we are treating this in the process for addressing it differently than we've done every other policy change that has ever come before this board in the seven plus years I've been on this board. But I understand that there are changes that we may be desirable. I, this, this is certainly, this is just the first read for a reason. But I, I you know, I, I'm compelled in my view of why we should move forward to the point of where you are to make sure board members have an input. We, this will be a scheduled agenda item and a debatable item at our next meeting. And to the extent there is our amendments, like in everything, this can be amended and modified and shaped and, I th and, and it needs to be done in a public meeting anyway. So we have a scheduled meeting. Hey, uh, Mr. Chair, a point yes. of order. I, th I think we're in the middle of a, a vote on whether or not to table this. Uh, I'm not sure. My, I, I think it still is debatable. And okay. so we have not closed debate. So, Mr. Chair, I would recommend you recognize people, let right. them speak. I, okay. I saw other red lights you skipped over. So let's just keep this, okay. keep this formal. Absolutely. So if... Were there red lights? If we need to finish the motion on this. Or You're treating it as a debatable motion. Okay, so if you have oh, a comment. Well, let, let me just uh, make a couple more comments. And, and go back, going back to the original policy that was never implemented, never put into practice, I don't see how you skip over the original policy, come up with a new policy, never really can talk to the board to ask them if they wanted to get rid of the old policy to come up with a new policy. This is something that has been put together between you and I, and I guess outside counsel. Because by show of hands, was anybody in on the pre pre preparation of this policy? You were? Yeah. You were in on this policy? I gave some input. You gave some input? Yeah. So, so I, here, here's that, exclu here's that exclusion, oh, yeah. exclusion uh, and not inclusion. Dr. Morley, exclusion Dr. Morley, you're out of order. This board does all Dr. The time. Morley, you are out of order no, as, no. as Mr. Hey, yeah, Dr. Irwin is this speaking. This board is out of order. So I, I, I'm trying to figure out the process to give input on a policy that was just given to the board two weeks ago. So, so this is a work in progress, right? So, uh, what, what I, what we've never done before, quite frankly, Mr. Chair, we, Mr. We, Chair, yeah. there's other red lights up. Okay. So, I would discourage the back and forth. Okay, and fair you enough. got several red lights here. Uh, Mr. And, and within within Mr. those two weeks, um, I will say I wasn't in on developing the policy, but I think my fellow board members know I've been asking for a very long time for us to have an audit committee that works, for us to have a committee to the whole to discuss the audit, for us to be focused on the audit. Um, the I agree. It didn't seem to me, because I did ask how many years it had been since the audit committee met. It was 2013, I think, the last time the audit committee met. That wasn't working. It, it I mean, that was not working. So I, I was going to say I'm thankful that um, Mr. Doyle did the research, 
sent us what all the metro districts are doing so that we can have best practices in this area. If we as a board need more time to speak about it, I'm always in favor of more committee the whole time or more, you know, whatever time we need. But I don't, I don't think we should table it indefinitely. I do think we should deliberate the policy in whatever way our attorney says that we need to, and we need to move forward sooner rather than later to have an effective audit committee, which we have not had since 2013. We cannot continue. Oh, we cannot Dr. continue Marley. to have dictatorship, and that's not what it's all about. I won't be a part of it. I will not be demanded, commanded, nor dictated to. To have some of you all, which is, which is part of the course on this board, getting together in isolated pockets on your phones, your email, your text message, discussing things, like the superintendent search, and not giving everybody, all seven members on this board, a chance to have input and then coming up with something that asks, do we want this to have happened? Is it needed to have happened? You can't run and operate a board like this. But I have to remember, I'm accustomed to being on national professional boards. This is not the way a board operates. And then we're not looking at Robert's rules and everything else. It's like, do what we want, how we want. A few of y'all get together, set it up, and it's supposed to be okay. I didn't fall off the back of a cabbage truck, and I wasn't born just yesterday. And it's time for this to stop. We're supposed to be running an organization. And the last two years have been hellacious with this bull crap. If we want to work together, we work together, respect each other on here. Everybody needs to be included. What one wants. I want a lot of things, but is it happening? What is needed for the children of this district and for the families? This quid pro quo, political games, all of that. I already have a position. I was in a position when I came on this board. Just Google me. The bottom line is, I don't know what the rest of y'all are looking for. I don't have time for this. And it's time to come together and start acting like we're leaders and be able to discuss things. Everybody should be a part. You can't go around discussing stuff over in, in shadows and midnight corners and then think you'll bring it back and put it forth and it's okay. I'm not going for it. Mr. Jacosta. When this was introduced to the board, I was in D.C. ever came for these kids. We, both were. we were in D.C. ever came for these kids. I sent you an email about allowing us to have more time to actually look at this stuff, review it, revise it, and continue to go. The next email that I received from you, Mr. Chair, was we're going ahead and putting this on this agenda, in which I disagree. I strongly agree that we need to collaborate together and work together as a board. And, and as I echo um, Dr. Morley, this is not an I thing. This is a we thing. We, we request so many things on this board. I request to have more, uh, more money allocated towards our, um, our coaches. It hasn't gotten done yet. So that doesn't mean that just because you requested these things that it, immediately it must take place. We need to set aside and put this stuff and table this and have a discussion as a whole board. And I've mentioned that to you before, Mr. Chair, that communication was the main thing that separates the entirety of this board. Now, once again, after we get finished this discussion, once again, I would like to table this item for a later day, or a later month, or a later year, or whenever. Turner. Thank you, uh, excuse me, Mr. Chair. Um, given the contention uh, and the, the, the atmosphere of this discussion, which I, I, while the points are well taken, it's a very, it, it, it's negative. And I don't think that that presents. We, we talk about often how we present and who we represent in these children. And I'm concerned about the example that is set for our children on how do you handle conflict? How do you handle disagreement? How do you handle it? And uh, I'm going to propose, because given, given um, the discussion now, I think, Mr. Chair, that we need to table this. I'm not sure if that's the right verbiage, but I think we can get the gist of what it is so that we can have an opportunity. I asked um, 
Dr. Irwin, if he would be interested, because he's sitting here, my partner, so we do have talks sometime. Um, I asked Dr. Irwin if he would be open to us having a discussion as an entire board, which is what is being said from the left to the right. And he said that he would certainly be in favor of that. And that's what I think. Let's start um, at a place where we can agree and then go from there. I just think it would be in the best interest. This does not have a good look right now. And I'm very concerned about that because I think it's presenting things in a very negative light and it was never intended to be that. I don't believe that. And I think it gives, it's just giving fodder to a, a lot of foolishness. Mr. I, I agree with you, but don't just pose it to me. I would pose it to the entire board. Dr. Morley, I don't Mr. Have DeCosta, I don't have Mr. Burtz. Uh, Mr. Jester, well, well, yourself and the chair. Well, let me propose this because this, again, this was only set for a first read. What if we move this, to your point, Dr. Irwin, to discussion but not for action to the Committee of the Whole for the next month? I think that's what you said. Right. And said. then we would then schedule it for vote, up or down, or modified, for then April. Would that be... Would, no, no, I know, but I, but you. Have, but is that saying what you want? Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, it be, let me put on the table in front of a motion to schedule this for the committee of the whole uh, for our March meeting. Uh, so that would be sort of read one A essentially. It still would serve as our first read, and then for uh, action at the earliest for the April meeting. My, my thing is, I, I always wonder, what's the rush? Since I've been on this board in the last few years, everything has been a rush. We're sitting here with this district limping to the side because of the last rush. We come in and we, don't, we, we, we do things emotional. We don't think rationally. What's the rush to get this done? And you can't tell me that we have not operated succinctly the same way you all put up those boys trying to control the blacks down this way, and you rushed. You never discussed it with me or Mr. Co and said, what did I think about it? And you all do it all the time. What is the rush of going ahead and dealing with this policy? It, will it lead to the, and I don't, I'm not even looking for an answer. I want you all to think about it. Because you're trying to play games. And as I said with those boards, that should be in a place where you play games. And I had my whistle the last time. If you're going to play games, I don't get paid enough to be on this board to play games. Life is too short. Kobe couldn't saddle his life with $800 million. And you all come here every month and you want to play these games. And want to say the, the mess that's going on back and forth. No, because we don't want to deal with the reality. We don't want to deal with stuff when we know we've been a part of it. If you're walking in mess and it smells like mess, you're a part of that mess. Either you're part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And we know some of this stuff is not right. That's all I ask you all to do. Like Spike Lee said, do the right thing. Why is there such a rush with this? So there's a motion on the table to schedule this for the Committee of the Whole for the March meeting for the continue to lie on the table and for no action to occur on it no, no earlier than the April meeting. Is there a second to that motion? Mr. Chair, yep. just so we know, uh, this was Dr. Irwin's motion, and if there is no objection, that can be his motion, and okay. then we'll get a second, right. and then we'll uh, have a potential to discuss that motion okay. or Call whatever motion. the next procedural right. matter may be. Okay. So is that... That works. Is there a second? Let's convert. What's that? The motion is to what? To schedule this for Committee of the Whole at our March meeting, that it would continue Mr. to lie on the table. They overlooked my motion that I had in the beginning. So what happened to my motion to table this whole thing? And then now we just, just moved to, uh, to whatever the chair's uh, motion is going to be. That's not my chair. The original motion was to uh, remove it from the agenda altogether. Well, and then you correct it, and I came back with um, table and motioning to table, and we was getting ready to vote on that until Mr. Chair made some revisions to my motion. There's no been there's been no second on that table. I Dr. Morley okay. seconded. So, yeah. so then 
It's not a debate. Okay. If we had a motion and a okay, second. If we had a motion and a second, I, I, I don't have an objection. We can take right. Mr. DaCosta's motion That's first fine. if you'd like, Mr. Chair. Okay. And then we'll come back to you. We, we did right. motion and like the three of them. We voted, and then you all decided. I, I think probably I thought that it somehow had gotten merged into Dr. Irwin's, but I'm, I, I, I'm so. mistaken right. about that. Right. Okay. So initially there's a motion to table it indefinitely. All those in favor of supporting that motion indicate by raising their hands. All those opposed, raise their hands. Okay, that motion is defeated. Dr. Irwin's motion now sits on the ta is before the body. It's been seconded. Let me make sure there's a second. Is there a second? It, it, it's what? To, post, to have, schedule this for a committee of the whole at the March meeting, so, for to continue to lie on the table, and for no action to occur any earlier than the April meeting. Correct. Technically. I mean, it's kind of an ongoing first read. Like two, two months of first read. Right. Reads. Right. And then, we, so it's still in first read mode. Correct. Now. It's not really in a first read mode right. now. It would. It. Um, it's really not anything right now. It might be uh, approved for the first read period next month. Uh, okay. I don't think I want to second that because I want. I want it to. To. I want it to move forward. So how can we? What do we need to say to ensure? that this policy is looked at starting today and that we have a time to talk about it while it's still on the table, like while it's still being considered, talk about it in March and vote on it in April. What do we need to say for that to happen? So I, I don't want to tell any board members how to vote. I wouldn't do that, but we probably need to go through the motions that we're, that we're doing and see if they're... So, um, but I think the motion on is for it to continue to lie. That was, I think, the continue to lie on the table. No. To be, or not to be no, scheduled to, for. to table it. Okay, but okay, to no. scheduled for. A, I, I don't second that then. Thank that's, you. that's quite all right. <clears throat> okay. The motion on the table was to table it, to meet in the committee of the whole to discuss it. Once you have to discuss it, then bring it back if it makes it back. Okay. Uh, I, for the first That gets us to the same place. Okay, I think that gets us to the same place. Uh, no, I, not. Not speaking from Mrs. Gabrick's right. it does not. No. Because she wants to rush it, put it on the table now. Keep it on the first Hopefully read, read it, and then hopefully we discuss can, uh, it, and then vote on it next then month. we can keep, keep coming back. Read. Keep it on the first so read. We, all, no. we always have it as a first read, and then it comes back for a um, vote. You always have it. because I, I No, no, no. And wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sorry, Michael. So we have it for a first read, and then we comment on it, and then we come back to vote on it, and then we say, well, we're not ready. And then we say, well, let's push it back till next month. And, and, and that's what I'm asking, I'm thinking we should do, like all the other policy stuff and I understand that I'm sure staff can speak to the point that they have brought policy before us and we have kicked it off a of first read and not allowed it to be right. first read right. so this is not the first time S sorry about that fair enough but sometimes we do so bring it for first read. So if I can restate right. the motion and I'm willing to second your motion that we would schedule this for discussion at our work session in February at which time it would also it would be based on our actions there be scheduled for a first March. read worst March yes. sorry sorry I'm losing it and then Following the normal course, it would be ready for action no earlier than the April meeting. Or we just keep the same. But is that a fair represent? It sounds fair to me, Dr. Morley, Mr. DeCosta. <coughs> Did y'all hear the suggested motion? No, can you repeat that? So that it would be scheduled for a committee of the whole at our March meeting, which would then, based on our discussion there, trigger a first read or not and then be scheduled for action no earlier than the April meeting. It can't, it, it can't be scheduled for action no later than April. You, if you put it up No, March, sorry, no earlier than April. No, no er, earlier than April. Right. That makes no sense because if you're looking at March, I no. mean, two plus two is four. Uh, let, let, me, let me just stop, and I'm going to be finished with it. I guess what gets me is that as you all plan these things in the shadows and lurking around together, and then you bring it forth, instead of coming to everybody in the first place and doing it the right way, as I said, the same thing with the superintendent search, you all are getting together in little pockets and talking amongst yourselves. And then you bring something. It's disrespectful. I, more than anything, I cannot stand this constant disrespect. And that's all, that's what I request, and I'm going to require and I demand is respect, because I respect you all. 
But to constantly do this and think that people are stupid, basically as I should say to my children, does it look like I have a split down the middle of my face? Come on. And then you all get together and collude, and that's what it is, collusion. And at some point, admit it. Had you come to all seven the first time, then we could have said it. We wouldn't be playing this out, out here in public. And it shouldn't be playing out here in public. But when you play those kind of games, the cover will be put from, pulled from over it. So, Mr. Dr. Irwin, as I described the motion, which was to... I the motion. Okay, is that okay? Yes. Okay. And I am offering a second to the motion. I think we're all talked out on this. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to ask, call the vote. All those in favor of scheduling this for discussion at the Committee of the Whole at the March meeting, and that there be no action if decided earlier than earlier than the April meeting, indicate by raising their hands. And see how you do physically you turn that way. So your body language is saying, let me right. give, and you all have done that in right. that chair position ever since I've been on this board. So that that that, that constant collusion. And be aware there are two other people down on this end, Marshall. I, I, we're we're in the middle of a vote. So okay, there, the there, there, are, there are two me. votes in favor. Are the votes those opposed? Okay, there's are three, of four. So I don't know where we stand because so the motions have failed, and the the base to. motion on the agenda item still needs to be addressed. Whether this would be a first read, and we don't vote on first. Do you reads, typically so. not vote no. on that? So okay. it would retain. It would just stay where we were. It's just. It would be out there for a first read. Yes, then it will. The will be your default is it's out there for whatever a first the equivalent is for the committee. Of the whole I call the question here and just I think we're finished and talked out with this. So, as it stands, it lays on the table for a first read. Okay, I know. Okay, so all right, uh, that was a little exhausting, Wait, but uh, we need. Oh, I, I have my light on. I'm sorry. Um, so. Can you reiterate what um, what the last motion was again? To motion that um, that we table this. No. It was. I'm not. Let me let me just finish. Okay. Let me just finish. To bring it back in front of the committee of the whole, correct? And then we have a discussion at the committee of the whole, and then we can bring it back in March. In April, April, yes. April, in April. Okay. I would like to vote on that as well. Well, I think that one failed two failed? to four. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. So it means it just lies on the table as it stands. Um, all right. I take a motion to adjourn the uh, – sorry. Motion to adjourn to a committee of the whole.